shortly after my daughter was born, there was a time when she was sick and we couldn't go to church on Sunday. And so I was home alone with her and wanted to do something beneficial, like the Catechism says, that Christian education, well, I guess it should be advanced. And all of a sudden, this game came to my mind. Now, you may see a similarity between this game and some other commercial game that I don't want to mention, but right here, Heretics and Councils, because I was overwhelmed with how much church history and Bible history my daughter, the infant, needed to learn. So, there must be heresies among you. The truth may be manifest. Let me get this moved over so that you can see it. Here's the window for Heretics and Councils. When I made the game the first time, though I made dice, but instead of having the number, I used stickers, instead of putting, I, or I made dice out of blocks of wood, actually little tiny blocks, children's blocks, and I wood burned them, and so that each of the dice, and there were one, two, three, four, five, six of them, and they had, on each side, there was fully God, fully man, one person, two natures. Jesus is. Those were the one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just rolled the dice and you tried to fill out the various columns or rows here of what matched your dice. And we are going to defeat the heretics. These are the famous heretics of the early church of the ecumenical councils, which are here, Nicaea, Constantinople, Ephesus, and Chalcedon. The big heretic of Nicaea was Arius. The big heretic of Constantinople was Apollinarius, Nestorius, and Eutychus, if I pronounce that right. And uh, this is what the, each of these councils declared, which really was hammering out the theology for the person and work of Christ. Arius taught some sort of adoptions and really denied the full deity of Christ. So, anyway, you push roll, imagine you're rolling dice, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to match something here. Now see, if I click on it, I've got two more chances to roll these dice. But right now I see if I hold this one, Jesus is fully God, fully man. Hmm. I'm well on my way. Jesus is fully God, fully man. I have the Council of Constantinople. If I got one person, two natures, I'd get all the way to Chalcedon. So I'm going to roll again. Fully God, fully man, one person, two natures. I don't even have to roll the third time. So, but I rolled the third time because uh, now I've the computer will compare, and I'm saying, "Yep, count this for 451 points." The date of Chalcedon, I've got that right. I get all 451 points. Now I'm going to roll again. Right, there's no Jesus dice, so. But I see I've got fully God, fully God, fully God. Hmm. That's quite a number. I might click on that. And still no, not one that says Jesus. Let's see. Fully God. Nope. All I have is three that are fully God. Defeat the heretic Arius. And I get 30 points. One, one for each of those three. And let's see. Jesus is, there's no fully God. Got two natures here. Maybe I'll hold on to those two and see if anything comes of the other two. Jesus is no fully God, so I need to try to get more two natures. Look, look, got two natures, two natures, 10, 20, 30, 40, two natures. We didn't confuse the two natures there, and we didn't make it into without distinction, without whatever it says in the cat in the confessions. So we got forty points for that. So now we're going to roll again. I think you can get the idea. 
Jesus, I don't need. There's no fully God. I could hold on to fully man. Fully God, fully man, one person. One person. 431. Two natures. Two natures. Oh, Jesus is fully God. Maybe I want to say Jesus is fully God, which is going to give me Nicaea if I can get a fully man. Nope. Jesus is fully God. I need fully God, fully man. Mm, it's not where I have one more role. It doesn't look like I'm going to get fully man necessarily. Let's see if we can get. We don't even have, we have one person. Let's go for the one person. Let's see if we can't get, I got another one person. So now we're up to. 30 points on that. I only need fully man. Jesus is. And I need a fully man no matter what. Fully. I've got fully man, but I don't have just one of them. Hmm? So this is only going to count 10 points. And now I have to try to get Constantinople. Jesus is fully God, fully man. Nope, I'm not going to get that. It's going to be zero in there. I finished this. It keeps track of how many points I got. And the four ecumenical councils of the early church discussed the nature of Christ. Each affirmed its aspects of Christ being. The teaching of the four heretics was condemned. Their heresies continue to appear in every age. Be careful to escape the errors of the past. Welcome to Heretics and Councils. We used to play this on Sunday afternoon. Maybe you want to, too.